let's start our worship. We have come here today to work with the stories of God, to praise God, and to pray. So let's greet each other the way Christians for thousands of years have greeted one another. I'm going to greet you guys first, and then you greet me back, okay? The Lord be with you. And also with you. All right, good. Well, let's see who the child of the day is today. Hmm. It's Daphne. Did you want it? What? Did you want it? Yeah, I did. Last week was Seth, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, Daphne, would you take collection for us? <clears throat> Here you go. Who can you tell me what our monies are for this year? For people that go to school and they don't have money to afford it. Right, and you said what? Tree of life. Tree of life, that's right. We're going to buy school supplies for Miss Sarah's room. She's a teacher at Tree of Life. Sure. Maybe it would help if you stood up, maybe you could get in your pocket better. Yeah, there's one in there. Yeah, in there. Oh, we can find it later. Can I go to the No, I think. Those must be really deep pockets. <laughs> Can't get it. Can't get it? Maybe if you stood up, it would be easier to get it. Okay. Well, we'll look for it later. How's that? Thank you, Daphne. I'll take it out way back. Now, if you could change the calendar. One more square as we get closer and closer to our next season. Okay. And then a prayer card. If you could tell us which one you picked for today. It's only four more weeks. Until no, Halloween. Oh, not until Halloween. Uh, next week's Halloween. Which prayer word would you like to pray? I forgot to turn my mic on. Put my mic on. Microphone. Which prayer word did you pick? Hosanna? Okay, you can put the green mat on top of it. Are you allowed to keep the one that there is? No. Okay, no. go ahead and put it on the easel. Just put it back on the easel, hon. There you go. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, do you have a, a song you would like us to sing? No? Okay. Well, then we're going to sing Praise God. And I need all of you to help sing and sign, okay? Last week you did such a great job. So let's all sing and sign praise God. All right, ready? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him all above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I didn't hear you guys singing. <laughs> how come? I don't know how to sing it. You don't know that song? That's the song that we sing in second and third grade, isn't it? I'm going to have to memorize it. Do, should we sing it again? Sure. Okay. So can you guys help me this time? I'll try. You're going to try? Okay. <clears throat> you guys did really good last week. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, 
Son and Holy Ghost. Now that time I got it a little mixed up, didn't I? Okay. <clears throat> we're going to sing Be Still and Know. And that is a prayer song that we sing before we're going to hear one of God's stories that helps us to get our hearts and our ears ready to hear God's story. I think everyone knows this one. You think everyone knows this one? I think so too. Yeah, we sing this a lot, haven't we? Okay, so let's all help sing and sign, okay? Be still and know that God is here. Be still and know that God is here. Be still and know that God is here. Oh, good, very good. <clears throat> It did. Uh -huh. Do you want to turn the lights off? Okay, let's see first if this light works. Yep, if you want to turn the lights off, you may do that. Sometimes we turn the lights off so that we can focus more in more on our story. This is a desert box. Inside is a small piece of the desert. So many important things happened in the desert that we need to have a small piece of it in our room. <clears throat> now we know that the desert is a strange and wild place. At night, it is very cold, and during the day it's very hot, and there is almost no water at all. The desert is always changing. The wind comes and it blows and molds and shapes, so the desert is never the same. Once, Abram and Sarai, they lived in a beautiful city of Haran. Now the one true God loved Abram and Sarai. And one day God said to them, <clears throat> move from your home and I will give you a new home and a new land. It's all right to go because I will be with you and I will bless you. And I will make you a blessing. Now Abram and Sarah looked across the desert. It would be sad to leave their home and all their friends. They wondered if they would be safe. Would God be with them? Now Abram and Sarah went. They trusted the one true God to show them the way. And they came to Shechem in the land of Canaan. God had been with them in Haran would God be with them here too? Then God said, <clears throat> he said, look at this land. I will give you this land to your children. 
Abram and Sarah were so happy that God was with them, they couldn't help but give thanks to God. And so they built a special place, an altar, where they prayed their thanks to God. Then they moved to a place called Bethel. <clears throat> and God was with them there too. Abraham and Sarah, Abram and Sarah were so happy that God was with them, but they couldn't help but give thanks to God. So they built another altar and prayed their thanks to God. Then came a great famine, and there was not enough food to eat. Does any, everyone know what the word famine means? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means something that bad that's coming. Mm -hmm. And a famine means that there was no food. No food, so they were hungry. So Abram and Sarah... They now moved to the land of Egypt to look for food. Now, Abram was scared. He was scared of the people in Egypt. He had forgot that God had promised to give them, <clears throat> to be with them, and God did not forget. God kept Abram and Sarah safe food, and animals. Now Abram and Sarah moved back to the land of Canaan, the, <clears throat> the land God promised to give them, to a place called Hebron. Now Abram and Sarah wondered if God would be here too. God had been with them in Haran, and in Shechem, and near Bethel, and in Egypt, would God be with them in Hebrew, Hebron too? Now God said to them, I will give you many children to live in this land. Now Abraham, Abram and Sarah were so happy that God was with them that they couldn't help but give thanks. So they built another author, uh, altar and prayed their thanks to God. The one true God who was with them. Now Abram and Sarah knew that the one true God who spoke to them and showed them the way was with them in every place and in every time, just as God had promised. Now I wonder what you might wonder about this story. Do you have any wondering questions about this story? I wonder how far away the places were. Yeah. And how long it took. Yeah. How do you think they got there? <laughs> they well, walked. A boat? A boat? No, I think they walked. Yeah. I mean, it's in the desert. That's right. They never stood the yacht in regular land, so it's probably... But, yes, they were in the desert. <clears throat> I wonder how they felt when they had to leave their home and all their was friends. Was in the desert? It was in the Saharan. Yeah. So is the, is the Saharan in the desert? I believe it was by the desert, yes. So I bet they were hot. Yes, hot. Yes. Have ever have any of you ever traveled to a desert? No. No. Before hasn't, hasn't, or me. Hmm. Is there anything else that you wonder about the story? I wonder how they felt when they didn't really know where they were going. 
Wandering around. Wandering around. Yeah. God was guiding them. God was guiding them, yes. To show them where to go. To show them where to go, that's right. Just like what he did, does with us. That's right, just like he does with us. That is so right. I wonder if they ever got homesick for their home as they were wandering. Do you ever think, do you think that they might have said, I wish I could go home? What does homesick mean? Part homesick? That means when you're away from home and you wish you were back home. Yeah, it started like that and what, and how, what she was doing. Uh, mm -hmm. She was all sick for an entire week. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Does anyone else have any wondering questions? No. No? I wonder how, how hard it was to build an altar. When did I tell you the rocks are? Yeah. And there's like no rocks in the desert. You don't think there's any rocks in the desert? Not you don't think there's many rocks in the desert? Usually like the only thing that the desert is made out is like sand and rocks. Sand, yeah. Not Lots of sand. No trees. No trees. Very little trees. Maybe like five and two miles or something. Yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if you were, <clears throat> if, if you ever have gone somewhere and didn't know where you were going. Did you ever wonder that? Did your I mom and dad ever put you in a car and you didn't know where you were going? That happens to me almost every time. That happens to you almost all, every time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless we've gone to like, right, where we're going when we came. Sometimes when you don't know where you're going, it's kind of scary, isn't it? I knew we were coming. I know the way to come to this church, though. Okay. Because yep. we drove here so many times. Yeah, over 10 days. I think <clears throat> for Abram and Sarah, it must have been very scary to just take off and start wandering and trusting God, huh? I wonder if they brought any food. You wonder if they brought any food. I hope they did, but I don't I wonder how the family started. How the famine started. Because they didn't have any grocery shops. They never come back then. Maybe probably because it didn't rain and their harvesting didn't work. That's that's true. <clears throat> the Bible doesn't tell us how the famine started, does it? I wish it did. I wish it did, yeah. Well, I think that we are going to get our journey our go and get your little um, tub. And we will start our response time. Okay, now that we're back from response time, we are going to continue on to reading the scripture that um, in the Bible that correlates with the story that we heard in our desert box today. So before we read, let's sing thy word. We're going to sing it through twice. And I want everyone to sing and sign with me, okay? Ready? Is everybody ready? Okay. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Okay, today's scripture that we're going to read is in Genesis 12, verses 1 through 9. So we're going to go around the circle, and if you want to read two verses, you can. Otherwise, you, you say pass, okay? Okay, so let's open our Bibles up. Very obvious, no one can Okay, so... Verse 1, chapter 12. Seth, do you want to read? I'm not Seth. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aiden. I looked right at you and said Seth. Seth. He's not here. No, he's not. Aiden, would you like to read? Pass. 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 
All of you are going to pass reading today? I don't know how to read. Me neither. I'll probably read that one. Okay. Well, I will read verses 1 through 9, and you follow in your Bibles, okay? The Lord had said to Abram, Go from your country, your people, and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. And all the peoples of the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he set out from Haran. He took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had accumulated, and the people they had acquired in Haran. And they set out for the land of Canaan, and they arrived there. Abram traveled through the land as far as the site of the great tree of Mor Moriah at Shechem. At that time, the Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your offspring, I will give this land. So he built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there, he went toward the hills of the east of Bethel and pitched his tent with Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and called on the name of the Lord. Then Abram set out and continued toward the Negev. Now there was a famine in the land, and Abram went down to Egypt to live there for a while because the famine was severe. As he was about to enter Egypt, he said to his wife Sarai, I know what a beautiful woman you are. When the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is your, his wife, and then they will kill me because... <clears throat> but will let you live. Say you are my sister so that I will be trusted well for your sake and my life will be spared because of you. When, Egypt, when Abram came to Egypt, the Egyptians saw that Sarah was a very beautiful woman and when Pharaoh's officials saw her, they praised her to Pharaoh and she was taken into his palace. He treated Abram well for her sake and Abram acquired sheep and cattle male and female donkeys, male and female servants, and camels. <clears throat> so we're going to stop there. Oh. Yep, I went a little further than what we were supposed mm -hmm. to because it talked about as he went into um, the other lands. No I'm sorry? What? No one wanted. No, yeah, no one else wanted. I know. Nobody wanted to read today. We don't okay. Know how to read. okay, now are you gonna practice this week? Okay. Okay. So now if you wanna turn it, we're going to sing. Turn the camera so the, they can see the kids. We're going to sing. Go now in peace. Okay? Oh all right. Whoops, I can't go very far. All right, can you all help me sing it and sign? Okay. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. All right. Now, as we do every week, we're going to get our memory. Let's see if I can go that far. So who, 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 who thinks they know what the memory would be today for our story? What did we talk about at the very, very beginning? A little glass of sand. How did you know that? Did you see what was in the drawer? No? Is it actually it? Yeah. Oh. It is. So what would this remind us about the story? It's super small. What this Not that the desert is super small. Does this help you to remember what the story was about? 
It was really plain sand from the beach. It's but sand from our desert box. So when, boys and girls, when you look at that little bottle of sand, what does that help to remember you about the story? I never saw the chore. Me neither. Do you remember? Can you tell? Ab how do you say Abram? Um, and Sarah um, went in the desert and it went to other places. Right. So does everybody have a memory basket, right, to put your memories in? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. you know what? At the end of the year, we bring that basket back and we talk about all those memories. Ooh. So that helps us to remember about the story that we heard today. That could take a while. That could take a while, yeah.